Believe it or not, a lot of superstars actually improved in 2016, and some of them just disappeared. Former world champion, everybody! Either way, you're looking at the 10 most improved WWE wrestlers of 2016. The Usos. All they needed was a heel turn. They turned heel on SmackDown Live and they became much more entertaining than they ever were. They just sucked, right? They really, really f***ing sucked. Heat Slater. He was a job, but they gave him a shitty free agent gimmick that he actually made it work. He even became the WWE Tag Team Champion after being a jobber for like 4 or 5 years. Good for him. Chris Jericho. Yeah, sounds weird, right? He's probably the best wrestler ever. And uh, it's kinda... Weird to say that he improved, it's, it sounds weird. But his face character was getting stale so he turned heel and made it the best thing about Monday Night Raw. At one point it was the only good thing about Raw, like Raw sucked, Raw was the worst shit ever. Yeah, so, so, yeah, Jer Jericho improved. Carmella, she came to Smackdown Live and instantly became the cringiest shit I've ever seen in my entire life. My name is Carmella. I feel so bad right now. Like admit it, it was cringe, you felt the cringe and you know it. Just like, just like you feel the cringe right now. But after that she became one of the greatest heels of the women's division. Braun Strowman. He was the guy that we all hated because we knew that he is going to get a push. Rumors and shit. You know the deal. But since the brand split after a couple of months, he actually became one of the most interesting things about Monday Night Raw and he is a funny character. Alexa Bliss. Just like Carmella, Alexa Bliss is one of the best heels in the WWE. Women like Charlotte were known to be, you know, great heels, but Alexa Bliss actually improved a lot. And she's SmackDown Women's Champion, so... What any other proof do you need? Roman Reigns. This will get all of hate, but Roman Reigns actually improved a lot on the microphone, in the ring, and to be honest, he's one of the best wrestlers in the WWE right now. He's still not the best on the microphone, but he improved, to which I say, good job. Now this will probably get out of heat, so I need to say something to distract the attention from all of this. Seth Rollins dick. Sid's leg. Dad just looks bad, doesn't it? What was I talking about again? Baron Corbin. He was one of my most hated guys in wrestling like of all time. I didn't see what he's all about. I didn't know why he's in the WWE, why he's pushed, but lately, I think he's kinda good. He became a little bit more natural on the mic and on Talking Smack, he cuts pretty good promos like he hates small guys, which means... Which means he hates me. I'm five foot seven or eight, and Barry Corman hates me. Life is tough. So click that like button if you want more videos. That's just gay. The Miz. Yes, everybody, The Miz just proved what I've been telling you all year. He's awesome, he's great, he's one of the best heels in the WWE of all time, and you didn't believe me, and he proved you. How do you feel right now, huh? Let's move on. The Miz made the Intercontinental Championship one of the most prestigious titles in the WWE and the Intercontinental Championship never looked better in the past 8 or some years. But when he moved to SmackDown Live, he became a major player in the WWE and he even became better than he was the WWE Champion. So good for The Miz, good for SmackDown Live. Good for me, I guess. So these are the 10 most improved wrestlers of the WWE in 2016. Now let me know in the comments below what do you think is the most improved wrestler in the WWE right now. Make sure to click that like button if you want more videos. Click that notification button to get all my videos because you can miss my videos and it makes me freaking sad right here. It really does. This is the great one. Peace, love and hugs. It's been a pleasure.